Let's review the takedown. This blaster is an eight shot shotgun. Kinda. I mean, it's a shotgun. It looks like a shotgun. It feels like a shotgun. It works like a shotgun. But it doesn't shoot two at once or multiple projectiles per fire. This is a single shot blaster with an eight round internal magazine. So you're not actually going to be getting shotgun shots like with the rough cut or the sledge fire. That said, this blaster is in the Rival series. It shoots the Rival rounds, so you're going to be getting Rival performance. So about 100 FPS, 90 to 100, roughly that uh, range in performance from this blaster. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going over a simple overview of this blaster, then seeing if we want to buy this or not, if you want to buy this or not. If you see this at your local Walmart or something, do you want to put it in your shopping cart? That is the question you want to answer today. So first off, starting with the ergonomics. First, the grip. This grip actually feels like a legitimate shotgun grip. It's very big, it's very ergonomic, it's very smooth. This has a very nice filleted design. It's not like with the Roblox blasters or even some elite blasters where you have more of a chamfered design where it's kind of like angular, it's designed to look really cool, but the comfort level was not in mind. This grip looks very basic, it feels very basic, but it feels great in the hand. And I think that it'll do well for any size hand. The pump grip is the same thing. It's a big, beefy, chunky pump grip. You can get a good hold on it with your uh, offhand, and you can pretty much grip this blaster in any which way, and it'll probably be comfortable for any hand. So with the, with the ergonomics, well done, Hasbro. You done good with this one. Now to abuse this blaster, you pull this back, push it forward, and then it locks in place. You cannot prime it again. If you do want to prime it again, there is a jam door right here, a jam button, unjamming button. In case you have a malfunction, you can push that down and that enables you to shotgun load it so you could potentially fire two at once or clear out a jam with the magazine loading system right there. You fire, you just pull trigger. Now, this blaster does have a safety. It is the small red dot, the small orange dot right here, which is only located on the right side, not the left side. Slide that forward, the trigger cannot be pulled. So you can leave this in the safe position, even though I'm not quite sure what that's going to do, because if you leave this thing blasted, if you leave this thing, not blasted, if you leave it primed, you're going to be compressing the spring for a really long time and your performance is going to downgrade. So if you leave it primed and put it in the primed position, it's not going to work after a while. So I recommend always firing that dry fire before you put it away. That's probably the best idea in my opinion. Now. What else does this thing have that's unique about this blast? Well, you have two tactical rails right here. I'm not even sure what you're physically capable of putting there, but it's nice that you have them there anyways. You want some extra magazines for you to have quick reloads? Well, it's right in line with the door. So if you wanted to, you could potentially put like a seven round magazine right here, just as kind of a speed loader. So when you're ready to reload, open it up, which reveals the jam door, and then you just pop open your magazine and hand load them in one by one. Now you'll be getting one less than if you were to just, well, get them and hand load them, but it works. It's an idea and it can be done if you really want it to. That's really all there is to say about the externals. Let's get on to the firing demo. First doing single shots. Wow. <laughs> Now using the jam door to shotgun it. All right, so before I quickly get to my personal opinion, I just want to mention right now, this blaster does not have slam fire. I don't know why I didn't bring that up earlier, but I think it's kind of weird because a platform like this is kind of designed to be slam fired all day, every day. Like if they try and hold the trigger down, this priming handle is not going anywhere. So that was a pretty weird decision in my opinion to not include slam fire with a platform like this, but it's not important or unimportant. It's just a little tiny detail that I want to include. Now to my personal opinion of the takedown, do I recommend you go and buy this blaster? Well, it serves an important role. It serves a good shotgun role in the rival hobby. If you're going to look for a good, nice prop blaster that you would like to use as a shotgun and you want to bring to wars as a practical sidearm, this will absolutely do your job. It's got very nice ergonomics. It's got an, an excellent capacity for what this thing is worth. 
It's very pretty looking. It has good performance. There's no reason to avoid getting this if what you're looking for is of this platform. If you're looking for a primary, definitely do not buy this blaster. It's very big to only hold eight shots. And I mean, are you really gonna use this as your primary? Considering to actually load it, you have to open up the top and hand load in eight rounds. And it's not exactly easy. I mean, you can accidentally load those rounds forwards into the barrel and then not get active fire. You gotta be kind of consistent with your loading and be a bit careful with it or else it might not work the way you want it to and it might jam up. This blaster has jammed a couple times during my testing procedure, which is why, well, yeah, it has a jam door or a jam button. I'm not even sure what I'm saying anymore. So in my opinion for $20, it's a good value. I think you should go pick it up if this is what you're looking for. With that said, this has been Pineapple. Thanks for watching Creeper Squad Nerf. Take care.